we are going to play with XGen. Here is a very bare tree. There's not much to it. Simple geometry. Note that it has no history. History might mess up XGen. First thing to do is to define where we want the leaves. We need to tell XGen on which polygons to put stuff. So I'm going to go to face mode and select just some tips of branches, doesn't even matter which. And I have camera based selection turned off, so I also select the branches in the back, the ones that I don't see. So let's say these are the tips of the branches we want the leaves to appear on. We need to open up XGen. XGen can be found, it has its own tab, and this is the XGen window. Click on it, and we get the XGen window. If the window doesn't show up, um, or if later on the rendering doesn't work, you need to make sure that in your setting preferences, in your plugin manager, the XGen plugins are both loaded, the bundle and the mantle ray thingy. They are both loaded, so we're good to go. I'm going to create a new description. Descriptions are always part of a collection, and I'm going to call this collection uh, tree stuff. And this particular one is going to be put some leaves on. It asks me what kind of primitives I want to be made by this description and I'm going to choose custom geometry. I modeled a little leaf and I'm going to put that on there. It's going to be distributed randomly and controlled by expressions. It may also mean you can control anything by painting maps. Create. I get a whole bunch of stuff, but I don't get any leaves, and I get an error at the bottom which says error xgen archive file, archive file list is empty, and indeed my archive files list is empty. So I need to put an archive in there, and an archive is a model, the model we're going to, the geometry we're going to put on this object. Now in this scene, if I turn off my tree, you can see there's a tiny little leaf there. This is going to be my geometry. It is located at the origin and the pivot is at the origin. It also has no history, all good to go, but it needs to be at the origin too because that's the point that's going to be placed on the geometry. Back to my XGen window. I'm going to create an archive from selection. By default it wants to put stuff in your home folder. I like to put it in the project folder so it's part of the project. Local archives project directory. And it's going to be called my leave. That's fine. I don't have any level of detail on it and I don't have any animation on this one yet. Export. Processing and it's done. And it does not appear in my archive list, which is kind of silly. It could have just added it, but you have to manually add, and funnily enough, you get the regular browser and not the Maya browser. It's in my project, in XGen, in archives, that's why I told it to put it, and it's my leave. That's the one I'm working with. Think. It asks me if I want to import the materials. The import will destroy the undo stack, so I can no longer undo stuff. So it's always advisable to save before you import, add an archive. I didn't do that, so I hope Maya does not crash on me. I do want to have the materials with it. Which means to get my leave material right there. Okay. I'm going to go back to my tree, 
turn the tree on, show everything, no leaves. I just turn the object on and off, so I have to refresh my preview. And there are not many, but a few leaves. Not quite enough for the tree, so I'm going to go in my primitives list up to density and increase the density. Don't push it too far immediately, but bring it up to a level that you can play with it and set them. You can always increase it later. The leaves are a little bit too big for this tree, maybe. There are a couple of ways you can adjust that. You can set the scale for your archive. If you say the archive has a scale of 2, they will appear smaller, and if it has a smaller scale, they appear bigger. Let's just let that, leave that at 1 for now. You can also play with the length and the width and the depth of your leaf. So make this point 9 all of them. These can also all be driven by expressions or maps, so you can have them all different sizes. And now just to check, let's increase the density a bit just for fun. Oop. They look a bit too even, so I'm going to twist them around a little. You can also tilt them, but they all tilt the same and tilt them in the other direction. So you get a little bit of randomness in there. These, again, can also be driven by expressions or texture maps. And I'm going to render this. You need to render in mental ray. And the leaves appear on my tree. Got a number of happy leaves on my tree. There's no lighting in the scene yet, it's very boring, but you see they do appear. There are a whole bunch of output settings. It is set now to render 100% and it's set to render with mental ray. If I set that to 50%, why would you do that? I don't know, but you can. And it will just render half the leaves. And it's set to render live, which it should be as you're working with it. If you wanted to batch render, you need to set this to batch render. And you need to select your mesh and export patches for batch render. And in order to do that, the ABC export plugin must be loaded. But I'll put that in a separate document on the instruction site. So that's basically how you can simply put some leaves on a tree using geometry leaves.